If you guys want to get to know Brit on a more, you know, deeper level, continue watching, okay? Hey guys, Brit back with another video. Given the girls, what am I giving y'all today? <laughs> I get on my nerves. <laughs> y'all, but I'm here today with a video that is kind of different than what I usually do. It's basically a getting to know Brit more tag. Y'all see that highlight? Oh my gosh. We're not going to do that today. We're going to stay humble. And, but honestly, I just want y'all to get to know me more, like on a more intimate level, you know? But on a lighter note, this week has been stressful. Like, it has taken everything in me not to lose my entire mind because it's just like another case after case after case after case and I feel so helpless like we're not gonna cry we're not gonna do this right now and if y'all hear the rain it's Florida is going through its motions as usual with this weather thing but I'm here for I love the rain like I can listen to the rain all day it's so soothing to me and I feel like it's very much needed like nature is just so beautiful but that's for another video i can talk all day about nature but um what was i gonna say if you guys are keeping up with the news and stuff and you're not like shook by what's really happening like how do you do you not have a heart <sighs> but i just want to say rest in peace to george floyd and Thank you to all the protesters, like all of you guys that are out there standing up for what you believe in, whether you're white, black, yellow, in between, whatever. I really applaud y'all for standing up for something and not allowing this to be swept under the rug. Like that is truly a blessing for y'all to be able to just go out there, regardless of what the circumstances or the repercussions will be because you're out there during a pandemic at, at that. Like I really, I'm so thankful that there's people out there like you because we need more people that will stand up for what is right. Regardless of if y'all have um, something in common, just right is right and wrong is wrong, you feel me? But that's not what this video is about, okay? I just had to get myself out of the funk because I literally was going crazy because it's just too much. So I'm gonna do this little 21 question thing that I found on Pinterest. So you guys can get to know me a little more, you know, but okay. So the first question is you can only, I'm looking down because I have my laptop right here. It says you can only get three words to describe yourself. What are they? Three words. Um, determined, kind, and nurturing. Those would be the three words. What's something everyone else loves that you secretly find overrated and how come? There's so many things, but like, I can't think of them on top of my head right now. Um, going out, like nightlife, I honestly, I went through a phase where I always wanted to go out and stuff like that just to get cute and go out with my friends. But nightlife is overrated. Wasting your money just to do something that you could do in the comfort of your home with the people that you actually want to hang around and be around like it's a waste of money like i always feel like i wasted my time and my energy going out always so because it's just like why what's the purpose anyways moving along number three um would you rather have a home on the beach or in the mountains um i don't know how i feel about the mountains because um it's a lot of wildlife. I love nature and all that, don't get me wrong. But wildlife, I will leave them where they're at. I don't want to invade their privacy. I don't want to disrupt whatever they have going on, like their everyday life. None of that. Um, but it's a hit or miss because the beach, on the other hand, if you live in a state where there's hurricanes like Florida, you're going to have to have a plan or a second home or something because when the hurricane comes you don't know for sure if your house is gonna be left after 
hurricane and came up and through. So I think I'll just go with um, in the mountains just to have a little different feel, you know? Number four, um, what kind of things really makes you laugh? Um, <laughs> what things make me laugh? A lot of things make me laugh, honestly. I'm so goofy myself, so it could be the slightest thing, but Kevin on stage, Instagram, that joker there is hilarious. And he's clean, like he doesn't cuss or nothing because he's like a Christian comedian. He's dope. Kev on stage, K-E-V-O-N stage, S-T-A-G-E. Number five, um, it says, if you could jump into a pool full of something, what would it be? I don't want to sound ignorant, but a pool full of money. How cool would that be? Just fall in a pool full of money? Yeah. Number six, if you could be a fictional character, who would it be? I would be Dora. Who would not want to travel the world without having money? Sis didn't have, never had any money. Well, she had money, but it wasn't like she had to have like a buttload of money. She just had a few little coins, literally a few little coins. And she traveled literally anywhere she wanted to. That's, I love to travel, so that would be ideal. Why not? Um, Number, what's that? Number seven. Have you ever had a crush on an animated character? Um, yes. Johnny, what is it? Johnny Bravo? Y'all. Johnny Bravo was that dude. Let me show y'all. I don't know. <laughs> y'all, look at Johnny Bravo. I just thought he was just, he's muscular like. My man could pick me up. <laughs> but yeah, Johnny Bravo would be my, he was my crush when I was younger, being a fictional character or animated character. Um, number eight, what is the worst lie you ever told your parents? I plead the fifth. I ain't never lied. <laughs> um, number nine, which habit are you proudest of breaking? Um, fun fact, I used to be the worst procrastinator. And then I used to stress myself out and give myself anxiety because I procrastinated. So once I got that under control, like your girl feels so much more at ease. Like I feel like I can conquer the world. Even though it's not completely, but I'm better than where I, where I was before. So that's a plus. What number was that? Um, that was nine. So number 10, if you had to pick an animal, which animal do you find the sexiest of them all? That's a strange way to put it, but um, if I had to choose, it would have to be a cheetah. They're so like, you know, a cheetah or a leopard. What's the difference? <laughs> Y'all don't. <laughs> Who don't, don't chew me, don't chew me out. Cheetah versus leopard. I think it's a cheetah that I'm thinking about. Yeah, the cheetahs are so like, and they're so just like elegant and so classy until you piss them off and then off with your head. But um, next question, um, would you describe yourself as naughty or nice? Why so? Um, I would describe myself as nice until you cross me. That's just the human in me. Don't kill me. Um, yeah. But next question, um, what's your favorite joke? I don't think I have a favorite joke, but if I had to pick um, my favorite joke. I know a joke that Tabitha just posted the other day. Um, she was like, what do you call a dog that has no legs? And she was like, it don't matter what you call him, he ain't gonna come. Y'all, her and her dad have like the best relationship. He's always sharing jokes with her and it's so funny. Like it's corny a little bit, but it's so funny. Like no matter what you call the dog, he not gonna come cause he don't have no legs. That's the guy. 
y'all i almost like passed out when i said that because it was so i was so confused i was like what is the answer but anyways 13 what's the weirdest nickname you ever had um if you're not jamaican then you're probably not gonna understand this because i recently just heard of this like old school jamaicans use this term batian bench that's like you and your best friend or somebody that you're really close with you're always together if you see her you're gonna see the best friend if you see the best friend you're gonna see her or whatever or him so that's the term batty and bench like batty means butt and bench means like a bench so basically you can't see the one without the other weird i know jamaican terminology don't ask i don't know where it came from it's just is what it is but i love my people did y'all watch i'm getting off topic but did y'all watch the verses with beanie man and bone tequila yo they're mush up the place you know? they're mush up the place almost 500 000 people tuned in y'all my people are undefeated and that's just that on that next question 14 what would you know what would be much better if you could just change the color of it um so what would i change maybe my hair color but i live for all black like it looks so natural and just so pretty and just you know but yeah probably my hair i'll probably change the color of my hair i like like the burnt orange look but i don't want to bleach my hair and to get that color on dark hair you're gonna have to bleach your hair and i'm not with the antics because i'm still trying to recover from heat damage so imagine me putting bleach on heat damage hair i'm not gonna have no hair left that's the gag but anyways <laughs> moving along do you think double texting is a big deal um i really don't think double texting is a big deal depends on who it's coming from though honestly because if it's somebody that you're not interested in and they just keep like pressing the issue like dude i didn't respond for a reason or girl i didn't respond for a reason relax like the conversation's over just leave it at that but if it's from somebody that you like y'all understand the relationship that y'all have with each other and y'all are trying to get to know each other or talking or dating whatever the case may be and you double text i feel like there shouldn't be the problem like y'all have an understanding y'all are talking and getting to know each other and if you see that they're not responding fast enough and double text get your point across okay so you didn't hear me the first time here i am again <laughs> but anyways um moving along uh if you if your life was a movie what would it be called if my life was a movie It'd be called getting it together with Brit because I literally I'm getting it together. Honestly, truly. Next question. Um, what's the last concert you went to? The last concert I went to was a Demi Lovato concert and Kalani was there, y'all. She got my entire life. Like if you know me, Kalani or Kaylani, whatever you want to call her, she is like her voice is unmatched and Debbie Lovato I didn't know she had so much talent especially live I was blown away shook it but anyways yeah them too what do you wish you were really good at I wish I wish what it y'all pray for me <laughs> why can't I speak rich what is that but um something that I wish I was really good at is drawing or singing like i can hold a note don't get me wrong but like to just effortlessly sing and have different ranges and stuff y'all that literally would be i would be undefeated god knew it he humbled me you humbled me and i appreciate it because my head would be you see how it's big already lord imagine you knew what you was doing he was looking out but yeah and drawing because I can write really well, but I can't, I can't really draw, but that's, that's for another time. <laughs> um, if you were a dog, what kind of dog would you be? Okay. So there's three options. I would either be a Yorkie, a Pomeranian, even though they're mad annoying, like their voice is like kind of high pitched or their bark. They don't have, I guess it's a voice, but anyways, um, 
yeah a pomeranian or a yorkie or like a i don't think it's a I don't want to be a toy poodle. I'll just be a regular toy, a regular poodle that was always groomed and well, you know, put together. Like, they're so cute when they got little hairstyles and their, like, puffs are, like, shaved and then they have a little puff on their ankle. So cute. That's who I would be. Or that's the type of dog I would be. Um, what's the most spontaneous thing you've ever done? Hmm. What's the most spontaneous thing I've ever done? I don't know. I would say travel, but when I'm traveling, but it's like when I travel, it's planned. Maybe while I'm traveling, I do some spontaneous things. Um, but what is it? I zip lined while I was traveling, and you know, I'd be kind of shook at how people go on that without losing their entire mind. But mine, the experience that I had, it wasn't too long of a zip line. So it wasn't that bad, but I had, did the zip lining in DR and it was it was really fun. But next question, if you this is actually question twenty one. If you had a time machine, would you go back in time or visit the future? Oh my gosh, this is hard. But I feel like what's done is done, and it gave you either a lesson or gave you insight of what you would want to do next time um so i would think i would go in the future if i had a time machine honestly because i, would, I just want to see what my kids look like and then come back because i don't want them yet is that bad wow that sounded really wow i'm sorry if that sounded <laughs> that's not the intention but i just want to see what my family is like like i'm gonna get married who am i gonna marry but then i'll probably jinx myself if i knew but i still want to know you know um i think i'm gonna do two more so uh what was the last show you binge watched um the last show i binge watched was surviving r kelly i know it's kind of sad and damp but i wanted to know what these females went through because this man has been in the industry for so long and people literally that have money they or status any type of status they literally feel like they're above the law so i watched it just to see and it confirmed everything i knew well i thought already but i'm just glad that they're starting to get justice for some of the girls not all of them but it's a start number 23 if you had to rename yourself what would your name be my name would be renee that was almost my name for real for real though my name was almost renee and i feel like that was so cute but for some reason my dad didn't like it and i guess he had a little input in it because my mom felt the need to change it and please him so i don't even know if i look like a britney to be honest Somebody said I look like a Jasmine. I look like, what else did I always get? Jasmine and Tiffany. I don't know, but those are neither my names. So Brit just had to, I guess Brit was cute enough. And then a Jamaican Brittany, like, I guess I'm just rare, but my name is just so common. But I don't know. Y'all. I don't know how because my sister and my brother they have they have common names but Britney is just so common like there's a Britney in every one of my classes now and I'm just sitting there like yeah we have the same name <laughs> but anyways that was the end of the 21 question with a little bonus two questions at the end um thank you guys so much for watching and as always subscribe like comment share with your friends tell them Brit is back at it again she's posting more frequently all that jazz and road to 200 subscribers like y'all we can do this we can do this period but anyways um <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video